Well, Rob, they really did put the polar in the polar plunge today. I can't, I'm cold just watching them. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun now, but when we talk about next week, it could get yeah. pretty dangerous. Hey, by the way, I got an update while I was doing weather earlier, I had an advisory that came out, so I want to talk mm -hmm. about that. Let me get right into it and show you what to expect. Uh, we have several watches and warnings. I'm going to go through these winter storm warnings, winter storm watches. The most recent is this wind chill advisory that really includes everyone. I had to remove some of the other warnings so that you can see, uh, except for our southern communities. The reason why here is that wind chills tonight are going to be dropping and they're going to be dropping in the minus 10 to minus 25 range. We're already there in some spots. There's a look at temperatures currently eight at O'Hare and dropping and it's been dropping pretty quickly. We also have that new snowpack that's on the ground only an inch or two from this recent system. But as we get in a little closer, you can already see the temperatures dropping. DuPage reporting one Schaumburg at five right now. Farther to the north we go. There's Elgin at four, one for Huntley, two for Woodstock and for Wonder Lake. We've got Sycamore at one below uh, some of these locations farther to the west. Again, I always see this one as the outlier. The Sugar Grove uh, official reporting site here always is much lower than expected. I think there's a sensor error there, but I like to leave it on the board just so I can compare and contrast it. And the feels like temperature, if you ignore that sensor error, still in the minus 15 to minus 20 range for some of our western communities. And that's likely where we'll end up uh, for the overnight. Any snow that's out there will be wrapping up. Two is the official forecast temperature that I'm going with, but let's call it near zero and those wind chills could be down around 25. When we look at tomorrow, quiet for the most part, 16 and mostly cloudy, but at some point we will see some snow return. It's just not going to happen during the course of the day. Temperatures should be able to get up into the teens and they may actually warm up over tomorrow night as the snow moves in. Here's about 24 hours from now. The snow moves in. It continues to slide on by. Here's 4 a.m. Monday morning. The morning commute likely to be impacted, but then it starts to taper off by about midday. How much could we see? Well, some of the models going as high as maybe four to five inches. The euro has been the outlier, but it's been coming down and that's some good news. So I think we're probably going to go with kind of a blend of everything here when we look at it. Uh, the RPM model a little bit on the lower side. I've kind of been liking the GFS three to six inches of snow, I think is a good number. Higher amounts farther to the north. Here's my official snowfall forecast. I'm calling for three to six, but I'll tell you, you're probably on the lower side of this for, for the most part, but it will ramp up quickly once you get into our northern counties right along the state line and then farther off to the north. This will happen Sunday night, should be wrapped up by mostly Monday morning, but I included Monday afternoon for any stray showers. And again, there's that snow that we're expecting. I know I still haven't covered that very, very cold air that's coming in back behind this, but I've got the rest of this newscast to do that. I wanted to get through that snow first that's coming in for Monday. After that, we do have some extremely dangerously cold air. I'll talk about records breaking and everything that that means, but there's a lot to get to on the weather front. Yeah, these are not the kind of records we wanted. No, not at all. All right. Thank you, Rob. Yeah.